we are really happy that uh, the, the homeschool hustlers and Blue Ridge Mama are coming home. As historical author Anthony Brandt has said, other things may change us, but we start and end with family. I've been picking the Commonwealth for 20 years, searching high and low at yard, estate sales, antique malls, thrift stores, junk shops, garages, and sometimes even barns for treasures I can pass on to new homes through eBay. But now as I watch my little ones growing up before my eyes, I find that my real treasures are right here with me every day. So join us as we pick, flip, and resell on our two eBay stores and in our two antique booths. The hamster is still alive, Sophie is still alive, and even the hermit crab is still alive. So I did my job, Reagan, and hopefully that's uh, good enough for y'all. Hey y'all, welcome back to Commonwealth Picker. This is Kevin and we're in the eBay cave and this is the second go round today. We've actually done some shipping already, but we're gonna get some more done real quick because we had a bunch of sales um, pretty fast. So we have uh, seven sales for $425.85 and two of them I think are important that we get out. One of them actually had a request that, hey, if you can't ship this to us like ASAP, then we'd rather not have it. So. I definitely want to make this sale. And we had a big item sell. So this is, you know, $425.85 with seven sales. So that's a really, really good day for me. And I'm happy to have it. So let's take a look at what sold. The first item on the list is um, this football jersey. It's Drew Bledsoe. And it's a Cowboys Drew Bledsoe jersey. It's not a Patriots jersey for you football fans out there. Um, for those of you who know... Um, Drew Bledsoe is uh, going to always be famous for being the guy who was the quarterback in New England before um, Tom Brady. And they actually played there at the same time, and they both uh, helped them win that, that Super Bowl, if I recall. And i got to get this thing out of here. I don't think Blue Ridge Mama even knew it was in here. She hates the Cowboys, so uh, she's a Packer fan. I don't know. I grew up in California, so I like the Rams. So rideshare reseller out there, you know, the Niners have no chance. So at any rate... Um, this is going to go out and it's over $32.88 free shipping. It's probably not going to stay under 16 ounces. Jerseys sometimes are heavier than that. We'll put it in a, probably a, uh, a padded flat, flat rate. You could fold it up really good and put it in a regular flat rate, but you're only saving a, you know 50 cents and it doesn't look real good. So probably ship it out that way. And uh, uh, you'll notice Sophie's not with me today. She's uh, down here a couple times already and she's, she's done. She's ready for Blue Ridge Mama to come back and spoil her rotten, I think. And she likes playing with Reagan and Turner too. So, uh, And thank you, by the way, for all the kind words about the homeschool hustler video we put out a few days ago. I had so many nice comments. So anyway... Appreciate that. Next item on the list is a hat. It's a tailor-made hat, $8.95 plus shipping. Um, I think I probably paid 50 cents or a dollar for this one. Uh, nothing amazing, and it's going to make us about $7 profit, I think. $8 profit max. All right. Next item is um, something we got from Joyous Junk. Uh, I think we paid a buck a piece for these. These are going out for $34.78. Um but they're going all the way to California, and they were bought together, which is awesome. Um, I'll probably put that in a Region A box, because I think they'll fit in that. So uh, if you have any questions about that, send me an email. I had a, I had one the other day on, on comments, and it's kind of hard to go through that. But if you send me an email, if you check the links below, you'll see an email, and you can send an email to me there, and I'll have a little bit more time, um, maybe, now that I'm back in school. I can't promise, but I'll try to answer your question about Region A boxes. So... Um, or you know what, if you leave it in the comments, there's so many resellers here that would be happy to answer you. They can reply to you too. So uh, I know a lot of you are resellers out there. Maybe you can answer that for uh, for somebody if you see it. All right, next question is, let's see, next item is a replacement backgammon chips. Um, not big money makers, but I do them over and over again. Uh, Callaway 3-iron, 1288. Not very much for this, but... Um, I'm into them for maybe a buck or two. So it's probably a $10, $11 profit on this. Um, and I had a whole set. So we're going to make over $100 on the set. 
when it's all said and done, probably about 115. I don't know that that's worth it, but to make that to me is bet in piecing them out because to me it's not hard to ship these things. You put them in one of them uh, tubes and then you put another tube on top, take you 10 minutes to make 10 bucks. To me, that's worth it. Um, better to do it that way than it is to make 20 bucks on a whole set or 25 bucks on a whole set. And uh, another option is played against sports, but I think I could, I think I'd make less at played against sports than that even. So on this particular set, anyways, next item on the list, I'm gonna save for the end. Um, we have this item. And this is the one, and I got a message that says, hey, I am, let me read it to you, actually. It says, buyer's note here. It says, please send this as soon as you can. I am a museum director, and we are going to use these items in an exhibit. If they don't arrive in time, we may have to return them. And I'm like, okay. Uh, and it's priority mail shipping. So it was a $50 plus shipping, priority, or excuse me, media mail shipping, um, and so I don't know what to do. They could have paid for priority mail shipping. I think I gave it as an option and they chose not to. But I don't know that I want to take a chance. So I'm going to see where this is going. I think it'll also fit in a region A and I'm going to take no chances and I'm going to get it off to them. This is the uh, Illustrated Stock Doctor and Livestock Encyclopedia. This, I bought it for a dollar at a yard sale. Matter of fact, I'm trying to think of what's on there. Um, it's from probably three or four weeks ago and it might have a, have a picture of some items like outside my shed, some records and things like that. You can go back and look at that one and you'll see where I picked this one up, but, um, $1 into 50. Um, if it's media mail, there's no discount on that shipping. So the fees are going to be real. So five, I don't know. Let's say I'm going to make 40, 41, $42 on this. And if I send it priority mail i may make 38 36 something like that um which you know it's still a heck of a profit on a book so i'm happy to to sell that one and it's going to go to a good place they're doing a museum exhibit so if i find out more about that story i'll let you know all right and last but not least today uh this item we did a video about matter of fact i think we did two videos about it and you'll see it in the thumbnail um, for those of you who've been watching the show, if you haven't, you can go back and look at that one. This John Deere hat, we bought uh, a bunch of hats for $120, um, and then we bought a few more for $15 more. And this is the first one that sold. It was listed for $400 or best offer. A full disclosure here, I was hoping to get um, $325 for this, and I had an offer... Um, of 230 I think or 220 something like that and I turned it down and then it was 230 and I turned it down and it was 250 and I turned it down and and then uh 270 I think I got an offer I turned it down and then it was just crickets for three or four days and uh I decided uh that I was going to delist and relist this item um at a slightly different price and uh hopefully get some offers again to get back to the 270 offer i was uh feeling a little, i i think i probably would have got 300 for this if i would have waited and waited and waited but um i regretted not taking the 270 to be perfectly honest with you and so i got an offer for 266.50 i think is what the offer was and i almost sent an offer back said hey 300 bucks and i'll do it and i'm like you know what i'm already doubled my money uh, i ended up taking it so this is, you ever, this is the ultimate bolo here as far as John Deere goes. There might be one better John Deere hat uh, out there than this one. And if it says, if you're out there and about, you know, and you're looking at these, they've got some really heavy stitching in here. Um, there are a few fakes out there, I got to tell you. So, and there are two different types. There's a type with a yellow background and a green deer. And then there's a type with a green background and a yellow deer. And this one is, in my opinion, the rarer of the two. Um, if you look on eBay, it's the rarer of the two. So um, I'm really, really happy with this sale, obviously. And we have about 40 more hats to sell and then a lot of maybe 12 together. Be a real nice money maker. Maybe even enough to uh, go back to the lady who sold them to us and, and to give her a little extra money because she was so, such a nice lady. And this was a, a, a hat from a collection of her husband who had passed away a while back and she was cleaning through her house. So at any rate... Um, We'll see how the other ones sell, and then we may be able to do that. 
Uh, Louisville, it says Louisville on it. If you ever see the ones that say Louisville, because this one doesn't have a tag on the inside. So just look at the back to see if it says Louisville on there. And you can obviously tell the age as well. So there you go. All right, um, we are really happy that uh, the, the Homeschool Hustlers and Blue Ridge Mama are coming home. And just so you all know out there, I didn't kill any of our pets while they were gone. So the hamster is still alive, Sophie is still alive, and even the hermit crab is still alive. So I did my job, Reagan, and hopefully that's uh, good enough for you all. All right, travel safe. Thank you all for joining us, and join us next time on Commonwealth Picker.